Fretzer and you're watching my MI8 startup tutorial. Over here we have the MI8. It's a multi-purpose Soviet designed helicopter and it has two Klimov TV3 117 gas turbine engines. This will provide the maximum speed of 250 km per hour and an operating range of 450 to 500 km. There is three members of the crew. On the right hand side you can see the pilot commander who is actually flying the aircraft. On the middle there's the technician and on the left side there's the co-pilot which has the main job of navigating. Now before we proceed with the actual tutorial I'm gonna show you you can open the cargo doors and you can open the side door and also you can open the left and the right little windows in the front. Okay, let's start up turning up the circuit breakers. Now these first three columns over here, they are the weapon systems, which we don't need. So we're gonna turn up these on the right hand side. Now you can do this by clicking them, or you can press the right control, right shift, and the four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're gonna turn up, turn off these three over here. They are the anti icing system which we don't need at this point. After that we're gonna turn up the batteries one and two and set up the inverters to auto and we can also turn up the strobe light. Now we can open up the fuel valves and turn up the fuel pumps and we're gonna set on the fire detection system and we're gonna start the APU The APU zone is ready. You know, take off the rotor crack. The left ensign. And start it. Gonna come up on the engine panels again. Select the right, right engine and start it.
back in the electric panel, we're gonna select the rectifier 1, 2 and 3 to on and also select the generators to on. Now we can disengage the APU. On the left side, we're gonna turn up the left attitude indicator, the Cairo correction cutout, the voice warning system, and the tail rotor pitch limit system. On the right side, we're gonna turn up the Doppler system, the VHF radio, the Cairo compass system, the right attitude indicator, and the microphone. In the middle, we're gonna turn up the pitch and roll auto pilot. And also, we're gonna switch up the radar altimeter. It will take a couple seconds to actually power up. Over here, you can change the, the minimum altitude when you want to get a warning. If you go below this altitude, it will give you this red, uh, sorry, yellow light and a little signal noise. In the top panel, we're gonna set the radio intercom switch to radio. Okay, here we go. After you reset the G meter, the startup is completed and we are ready to go. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video.